John Trumbull was an American artist during the period of the American Revolutionary War and was notable for his historical paintings. His Declaration of Independence was used on the reverse of the $2 bill. Early years Trumbull was born in Lebanon, Connecticut, in 1756, to Jonathan Trumbull and his wife Faith Trumbull. His father served as governor of Connecticut from 1769 to 1784. Both sides of his family were descended from early Puritan settlers in the state. The young Trumbull entered the 1771 junior class at Harvard College at age 15 and graduated in 1773. Due to a childhood accident, Trumbull lost use of one eye, which may have influenced his detailed painting style. Revolutionary War As a soldier in the American Revolutionary War, Trumbull rendered a particular service at Boston by sketching plans of the British works. He witnessed the Battle of Bunker Hill. He was appointed second personal aide to General George Washington, and in June 1776, Deputy Adjutant General to General Horatio Gates. He resigned from the army in 1777 after a dispute over the dating of his officer commission. In 1780 he travelled to London, where he studied under Benjamin West. At West's suggestion, Trumbull painted small pictures of the War of Independence and miniature portraits. He painted about 250 in his lifetime. After news reached Great Britain, outrage fled and Trumbull was arrested, as having been an officer in the Continental Army of similar rank to André. He was imprisoned for seven months in London's Tothill Fields Bridewell. Post-war years after being released, Trumbull returned to the United States. In 1784, following the British recognition of the United States as independence, he returned to London for painting study under West. While working in his studio, Trumbull painted Battle of Bunker Hill and Death of General Montgomery in the attack on Quebec. Both works are now in the Yale University Art Gallery. In 1785 Trumbull went to Paris, where he made portrait sketches of French officers for the surrender of Lord Cornwallis, with the assistance of Thomas Jefferson, serving there as the U.S. Minister, Trumbull began Declaration of Independence. While in Paris, Trumbull is credited with having introduced Jefferson to the Italian painter Maria Cosway, they became lifelong intimate friends. Trumbull's painting became widely known due to a later engraving of it by Asher Brown Durand, which was reproduced. This independence painting was purchased by the United States Congress, along with his surrender of General Burgoyne, surrender of Lord Cornwallis, and Washington resigning his commission, all related to the Revolution. All now hang in rotunda of the United States Capitol. Congress reportedly authorized only funds sufficient to purchase these four paintings. Trumbull completed other paintings related to the Revolution. Death of General Warren at the Battle of Bunkers Hill, Death of General Montgomery at Quebec, Capture of the Hessians at the Battle of Trenton, Death of General Mercer at the Battle of Princeton. Trumbull's The Sortie Made by the Garrison of Gibraltar, 1789, owned by the Boston Athenaeum, is now held by the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. Middle Years In 1831 Trumbull sold a series of 28 paintings and 60 miniature portraits to Yale University for an annuity of $1,000. This is by far the largest single collection of his works. The collection was originally housed in a neoclassical art gallery designed by Trumbull on Yale's old campus, along with portraits by other artists. His portraits include full lengths of General Washington and George Clinton in New York City Hall. New York also bought his full-length paintings of Alexander Hamilton and John Jay. In 1791 he was elected a Fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. He painted portraits of John Adams, Jonathan Trumbull, and Rufus King, Timothy Dwight and Stephen Van Rensselaer, Alexander Hamilton. A self-portrait, a full length of Washington, held at Charleston, South Carolina, a full length of Washington in uniform, and portraits of President and Mrs. Washington, in the National Museum of American History. 
Trumbull was painted by Gilbert Stuart and many others. In 1794 Trumbull acted as secretary to John Jay in London during the negotiation of the Treaty with Great Britain, which largely settled the boundary with Canada. In 1796 he was appointed by the commissioners sent by the two countries as the fifth member of a commission charged with carrying out the seventh. Article of the Jay Treaty, which mediated claims by American and British merchants and the opposing government stemming from actions which occurred during the war. Shortly after the end of Trumbull's service on this commission he travelled to Stuttgart to pick up the completed engraving of the Battle of Bunkers. Hill. On the return trip he passed through Paris and carried the first dispatch from the XYZ affair out of France. Later years. Trumbull was appointed president of the American Academy of the Fine Arts in New York City, serving for 20 years, from 1816 to 1836. Emphasizing classical traditions, Trumbull did not get along with the students. At the same time, his painting skills declined. In 1825 many of the students withdrew, founding the National Academy of Design. Unable to accommodate a changing tastes, the American Academy later closed in 1839 after a second fire destroyed its collections. Trumbull wrote his autobiography, which he published in 1841. He died in New York City at the age of 87 on November 10, 1843. Legacy and Honors Trumbull was originally interred beneath the art gallery at Yale University, which he had designed. In 1867, the collection of his works were moved to the newly built Street Hall. His and his wife's remains were reinterred on those grounds. The Trumbull Gallery was later raised. 1965, the John Trumbull Birthplace in Lebanon, Connecticut, was declared a National Historic Landmark. 1968, a John Trumbull commemorative postage stamp was printed. Paintings The Death of General Warren at the Battle of Bunkers Hill, June 17, 1775 The Death of General Montgomery in the Attack on Quebec Declaration of Independence Capture of the Hessians at the Battle of Trenton. The death of General Mercer at the Battle of Princeton, January 3, 1777. The surrender of General Burgoyne at Saratoga. The surrender of Cornwallis at Yorktown. Washington resigning his commission. Portraits of George Washington and John Adams. The death of Emilius Paulus at the Battle of Cannae. The sortie made by the garrison of Gibraltar. Self-portrait. Portrait of Josiah Bartlett, Jonathan Trumbull, Jr., with Mrs. Trumbull and Faith Trumbull, Gallery of Trumbull Paintings, Historic Events The Death of General Warren at the Battle of Bunker Hill, The Declaration of Independence, Capture of the Hessians at the Battle of Trenton, The Death of General Mercer at the Battle of Princeton, January 3, 1777, Surrender of General Burgoyne. Surrender of Lord Cornwallis. General George Washington resigning his commission. The sortie made by the garrison of Gibraltar. Portraits Israel Putnam. Alexander Hamilton, 1792. Alexander Hamilton, 1792. Alexander Hamilton, 1806. Alexander Hamilton, 1832. George Washington. George Wythe. Self-portrait. 1777. Self-portrait. 1802. 